Hello, 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 hello. Hi, it is me. Say, welcome back. It is um it's Midwest. Yo, I haven't uploaded this in like four months, but we're back. It's Division Two, not Division One. I. I got demoted. I didn't race enough because this game sucks. But we're back with more mojo than ever, and also demoralizes ever as we're gonna go a Yurton Senna pit lane style, killing the whole pit lane crew. The whole the whole paddock is over. I crashed. 19 million pieces, but we finished on pole, so it doesn't matter. So um, two times clear of everybody, because I invalidated every other lap and or crashed or died, and then we're gonna go into the formation lap, very crucial um, part of the the Grand Prix, the one where you like warm up your tires and everything, just like this. And my secret technique kind of goes wrong by doing a 360 no scope, and then realizing auto reset the track is on. So thanks, um, host guy. And I almost forget to park my car correctly, I almost did an Esteban uh, Fernando Alonso shit or whatever. And then we're gonna get racing just like that. Uh, the five lights went off, we get a pretty solid start, thinking that we're gonna be clear into turn one. Uh, I guess wrong, we get punted from behind, and I had to convey to a 360 Nosca while I dangerously rejoined the track, and the yellow flags are everywhere. I'm down to P12, there's a car backwards, and we're gonna ignore the yellow flags and just overtake everybody because, um, I don't know. I can't read, and um, yeah, carnage everywhere. Electric blade up there in the the, the Narnia, and carn we're in P9 now. Knuckles and DJ Knickknack up here, uh, battling side by side. Knuckles nowhere to go. DJ Knickknack going a little bit deep. We're gonna, just, yeah, just make our way past like we're fucking Max Verstappen, and just like that, our start was fine. We're gonna move forward. Thanks, Mark, for that epic feedback. We lost six positions up to lap two now has very action-packed race and um yeah we have to stupidly lock in ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go around the outside here of bobbery yates and the alpine who had wing damage the entire time so rip bozo uh i don't know seems like a skill issue to me but um uh we're gonna go in the same lap lap 12 but in the second drs zone tono and slayer riser here going wheel to wheel and banging wheels I want to join in the the wheel banging, but they didn't let me. So the riser actually just fucking sends it. We're gonna go um, do an old switcheroo and not want to touch the grass. Uh, we collide a bit with Tono, the Red Bull, as we're gonna do an epic drag race to turn one. We collide a bit. We raise the hand. The hands being raised. That's never a good sign. And we're gonna take the P5 away at lap three. So we're making good progress here. Uh, up next is the Slayer Riser of the Aston Martin, taking the worst line in the NASCAR corner. As we're gonna reel in Slayer Riser real fast, as we get the fast lap as well, and we're gonna just send it down the inside, Daniel Ricardo style. That's what happens when you stupidly lock in, ladies and germs. We're gonna we're gonna move ourselves up into the P4, just like that. That's where we're up into P4. Mark confirms a bit late, but it's Mark. It's whatever. And then we're going to set the fast lap of the race with 114.4. As um, we're going to be hunting down El Jacko and uh, Johnny Damon, who are in P3 and P2. We had 6 seconds behind them. Now we're 2.6. So we're making good progress here in lap 10. We gained 4 seconds and 6 laps. And then we're going to throw it all away with the same fat mistake I did in of another league. As we're going to get passed by Slayer Riser. And we'll drop down to P5 and lose all the ground we just made up. We lost the position and the tires are cooked. It's They're finito. So we're going to have to cool them down somehow. Put some icy hot on them. And we're going to try to overtake Slayerizer again. But um, yeah, that's not happening again. That um, insane Daniel Ricardo dive bomb. Pretty nice dive bomb if you ask me. It was pretty good. It was pretty satisfying. But um, we're going to try to get past this man. As um, it's not going very well. We actually get a good switchback though, but we just don't have the straight line speed. We don't want to use the ERS too much because we kind of need to save that around here. It's pretty crucial. And um, just like that, we're still behind them, but we're not gonna give up. We're gonna try to get a better run out of this corner, but we didn't, so we suck. And then he's gonna go up ahead, but it makes a mistake. We almost hit the back of him. Crazy reaction times there. Holy hell! Um, I forgot that happened. But great work, great pass for ourselves. We move up to P4 once again. 
making sure the car is okay, making sure the tires are okay. We're chilling as we're gonna just uh, box this lap, or the we're telling uh, Mark telling us to box this lap as um, yellow flags up ahead. Uh, Johnny Damon has the Johnny Damon, the Johnny Damon has gone off in the Haas, so uh, disaster there for the the Haas boys. That's the first. That's not the first time we've said that, but um. We're gonna box. Uh, lap 15, we stayed out for one extra lap. Tires are absolutely finito, but um, yeah, we're gonna box this lap. We had purple sector one and two, apparently, but I don't know. Into the pits we go. McLaren boys waiting for you. Papaya time, and we get, um, I forget to release the car, and we lose a bit of a time. A bit of a time? We lose a bit of time. Uh, we're gonna be, it looks like we're gonna be coming out NP8. Ahead of Tono and Cynical. We do have clean air and fresh rubber. So we're gonna we're gonna be uh, locking up the brakes, obviously. That's the great way of warming up your tires. Well lap sixteen now, the end of um, our end lap and the start of our actual just regular place lap. As um Helgen up there and Grim Reefer mp3 right now he was the race leader uh, we were six seconds behind now we're uh, one second behind because that's just how gravity works or whatever and um, we're gonna set the fast lap of the race by four tenths 14.0 as the previous race leader El Majeco um, finishes pit stop right in front of me so he's now on cold tires and I'm gonna be hunting him down pretty fast because we don't want to get grim uh, escape pretty fast but um, Jackal says no so we're just gonna have to like stay behind them, unfortunately. But and every time we stay behind Jacko, the more time we lose to Grim Reefer. And Grim, he's a pretty solid driver, so we can't really let him escape. So Jacko's still on those cold hards, not fully warmed up. We're gonna try and make a move around the outside. Crazy move! He hits us for some reason. Just turning more to the left, man. And we're gonna try to make a run, but we're not dumb. We're not gonna make a move down to the chicane. He locks up. I almost at the back of him how he was going so slow. I had to push him through the corner. No wing damage though. I don't know why my engine display is up. Um, I probably forgot to change it. But Elma Jack was still in front of us. But the DRS is active for us. Not for him though, because uh, he fell. He fell apart. We're not really gaining much until we turn on the ERS. He's gonna cover the inside, but we're just gonna just send it, bro. Daniel Ricardo once again, dude, lay on the brakes, king of the brakes. Look at that. That is a that's a brilliant move. That is top top ten overtakes of all time. Uh, number ten, me say on Jacko in the Netherlands, just like that. And we're gonna set the fast lap the race one thirteen point seven three tenth improvement from the previous one. As Grim Reefer and Helgen going wheel to wheel, and Grim gets pass. Not good for us as Helgen is still yet to box. As we're gonna make, we're gonna make our way past Helgen here, and um, I don't, uh, yeah, I didn't. I just waited an extra lap until he boxed. There you go. Now we're past Helgen and Grim Reefer nine tenths in front of us. He was six seconds before the pit stops. Now it's three tenths actually, because it's lap 22. As uh, we're gonna try to reel him in, and it's it's turn one, the infamous turn one for us, and um, yeah, I didn't really work here. But we're gonna try to switch a route, but uh, again, it didn't work. We got cooked. We got absolutely fleeced of that overtake. We're gonna try to go around the outside, no, in the heavy bank corner. On the switchback, with the better run, no, no bag, no dog. But uh, this time, at the end of lap 23, only two times back. We could we could smell his um the oil in his gearbox or whatever the hell is we're just gonna go fly on pass, perfect on the brakes into turn one, cover the inside that's a brake pass let's go great maneuver, uh, Mark says as his yellow flies out on the track, and just like that lap 24 we have retaken the lead once again since we lost in lap one, and um yeah we're just gonna hold on to it as we had to fuel save a bit. And um, everybody else had to as well. Uh, so we entered the final lap of the race as we're going to go on board to see my fastest lap of the race here. At the very end of the race. 
because all that fuel saving I did around here, there was no safety cars, high towers in front of me, so blue flags, blue flags, uh, yeah, it was uh, one of my best displays of driving in a while, because I really, I barely overtake, my overtake bag consists of DRS passes and people who just been absolutely shunted off the track. So this one I had to work for, I had to be in my bag, the LeBron James bag, the Kevin Durant bag, the Steph Curry bag. I had to stupidly lock in. It was a, it was a great display of driving, as uh, blue flags are everywhere, we're setting purple sector 2's on the final lap, because I'm using the battery, mostly. As Frenchie's gonna let us through, compromises our line, we lost about a tenth there, not really. As we're going to enter the final corner of uh, the final lap of the final, yeah, just the final lap, final, yeah. As we're going to cross the line in P1, just like that, 113.2 is the fastest lap. And that is big points in the bag for McLaren, just like that. As a Jacko and the Grim has run out of fuel and my Epic helmet on display, just like that, P1, a great drive, a well-deserving drive. And um, thumbs up from the driver of the day, who was me. I actually didn't even know that until now. Um, I didn't even know I was the driver of the day. I was like, I want to go take a shit or something. I don't remember. I want to go drink Dr. Pepper. And that's what I did after this race. As soon as I crossed the line, I left. I left my room. I didn't even see the celebration. I was not here when I wa was when I was recording this. I was not here. I was what, drinking Dr. Pepper. So I'm watching this cutscene for the first time. Um, but yeah, good race. Severely enjoyed that for the Papaya team. Papaya boys are happy, and um, we we retained the the big the the W's, I guess, in Midwest. I don't know. I'm running out of words to say, but I hope you enjoyed this waffle fest of a video. And um, yeah, gabagui. Uh, yeah, cut.